Tonight, new developments in the assassination of Haiti's president. Florida is reportedly investigating a man who may live in Miami and who might be linked to the killing. According to Politico, Florida's agriculture commissioner has opened an investigation into the owner of a Miami-based security firm linked to the July 7th assassination. The man reportedly hired more than 20 ex-soldiers from Colombia who were later killed or detained by Haitian authorities in the aftermath of the assassination. The head of Haiti's National Police last week accused the Miami man of visiting Haiti several times to make, take part in a plot to kill Haiti's president, but did not provide further information. All that as, as the country's interim prime minister, Claude Joseph, who took control of Haiti's government immediately after the assassination, announced today he has agreed to step down and hand power over to Ariel Henry, a neosurgeon who had been appointed to prime minister by the president just two days before he was killed. Henry will now become prime minister and Joseph will return to his original role as Haiti's foreign minister. The announcement ends days of tense negotiation between the two men over who would lead Haiti. But although the agreement appears to resolve the current power struggle in the country, it's unlikely to settle the and its stability for good. Monique Kleska, a Haitian pro-democracy advocate and former United Nations official, told the Washington Post, the same regime is continuing with another face and another name. This doesn't change anything in the work that we are conducting. And joining me now to discuss is Monique Kleska. Ms. Kleska, thank you for joining me. I want you to explain to our viewers what, what you meant by that quote in the Washington Post about it, you know, what's happening now with the change in leadership not altering the work that you're doing in, this, in that country. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be with you. What I meant is that a Claude Joseph, the minister who stepped down, the prime minister who stepped down, was part of the Moïse government. Ariel Henry, who is the prime minister who the international community pushed, is from, he was nominated by Jovenel Moïse. So it is a continuum. It is the same regime. It is the same policy. It is the same international community that is supporting them. And the protests that we have had for the last three years remain. The issues still remain. Monsieur Moïse unfortunately has died and we send our condolences to his family and we ask justice for him. But the system that he put in place, a repressive system, a system that does not listen to its people, this system is continuing. That's what I meant by that. And we are continuing mm -hmm. our fight in terms of the civil society, in terms of other political parties. We are continuing the fight against the system that Haitians have said they do not want anymore. At least a critical mass of Haitians mm -hmm. have said that over the last three years. So what, what do you think the, the international community's response should be in this time in the wake of the assassination? In particular, what do you think the United States' response should be in this period? I think it should be, let's listen to what Haitian political parties, what Haitian civil society is doing. I think it is very unusual that a few hours after Jovenel Moïse, department spokesman, actually says, yes, it is Claude a with the elections. And then later on, the UN and the other ambassadors are saying, no, 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 now it's our Henry. It is not up to the international community. It is meddling in the affairs of a sovereign state. We, as part of, I'm a member of a commission that has been working for four months, mm -hmm. trying to listen to 
everyone, different sectors, and coming up mm -hmm. with a solution. And while we were meeting the core group, including the United States, which is a member of mm -hmm. the core group, was saying, we want Henri to be prime minister. This is a slap in the face of Haitians. We have now mm -hmm. a critical mass of Haitian mm -hmm. civil society who are saying, this is what we right. need. We are looking for a transition. Mm -hmm. We have had a very participatory process. And we have a consensus agenda that comes from wide consultations, consultations right. with political parties, with civil society in Haiti and in the diaspora, diaspora right. in the United States, in Europe and Canada. And we want the United States and the others to be in solidarity, mm -hmm. not dictating, not bullying us. Right telling us Ms. who should Ms. Kleska, be our leaders. Unfortunately, this is not our role. Unfortunately, I have run out of time, I th but I want to thank you for your time and also want to encourage you in your work, in your pro-democracy work in the, in the nation of Haiti. And we all praying for Haiti right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.